everyone, I'm Tsunani. Welcome to my new video. Today, I don't know exactly uh, what this will be in the end. We are in the 100 day project challenge. We had a few days. Here was the start. And I painted a lot. Today is day 33. I asked you what to paint and I have this little list, a few things I drew already and now I'm a bit between a cat with antlers and on its back are cute spirits, forest spirits. I love this idea. This idea comes from my daughter, by the way. And I also love this idea, forest creature sleeping and forest spirits watching over it while it rests. It's also very cute. These both I will um, draw in the next days and in a bit bigger perhaps than in this little format here. Also a very cute idea is a frog in a teacup. Yeah, please um, tell me what you think I should draw and then I put it on my list. It's a very small list right now, but it could be bigger. We are on day 33, 33, yeah, 33 and there are a lot of days left for the 100 day challenge. I take the Bao Hong one, it's such a cool paper. It's a 100% cotton paper and has this very fine hot pressed surface. And tape it down there. Drinking a bit of coffee. Mm. This is the tape, the masking tape from the last upgrade box. And I have to say, I really like it. I haven't tested it out on uh, cotton paper. It's also always a bit difficult to use masking tape on cotton paper. If I'm very careful, then it will work, I hope. I'm using my Schminke Horadam watercolors, which I love. And in the end, I decided to paint the sleepy creature with the spirits around. This prompt comes from Kim Boyle. Thank you for this very cute idea. The picture I had in my head was less foresty, but I think I will paint this theme again with more forest vibes. The last days it rained a lot and my feeling and flow went more in a water direction. Here I'm painting the first layer. It don't have to be detailed. I just would like to define where is what and I like to let the colors flow together a bit. So later it seems like our little creature in the middle has a smooth shine. This should look good. I will write down everything I used in my video description, so perhaps you can also try out this color combination. I like to use a blue and a red and a yellow and mix them. Also a shadow color. Here I first tried a perilane violet and a bit of Mars black. Later I only mix with the blue and the red in the next layers. It's important that the background layer dried completely until you go on with your next layer. Now I will paint my darks and use the negative technique to define what's going on in my picture. Now I go over again where the shadows should be with a more watered down version of the mixed color I used before. And then I paint layer for layer from bigger parts to the very detailed ones in the end. And slowly the painting grows in its deepness and details.
Now I will use colored pencils. I like to combine them with watercolors. You can also go on with watercolors for the finer details if you like, but I'm really enjoying the texture the pencils create on the paper and I love to work with them on the last details. Because this summer is a very rainy one, I feel closer to the element water right now. I'm missing the summer sun, but it's good that it's raining. It was very dry here for a long time. I was in vacation the last two weeks and I was shocked as I saw the big forests of the Harz National Park. There are a lot of trees dying or which already died and everything is so dry, even if it rains a bit. The groundwater sank a lot. It's really important to do something against the climate change. I feel so sad and angry because we small people can only go on the streets and demonstrate to hopefully be seen and the big money-hungry persons who have the power don't want to do anything. It makes me feel helpless. Water is the most important element for growing and for every life on this planet and If it's gone, there's no way back. Just wanted to talk a bit about what's in my head right now. What did you do during your vacation time? Did you have a good time? Is there summer in the part of the world you live? What's your favorite part of the summer? I really love summer rain. The rain smells different in summer, don't you think? this masking tape from uh, art space from the upgrade box so good this is what i'm always what i always looked for so good it's such a good masking tape i love it okay here it is the finished piece. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is a big support for my small channel. Thank you so much. So let's have a look at the close-ups together and have an awesome day my friends. Yours Xunat.